Can you think of a dirty four-letter word that most teachers use every day? <laughs> the one I'm thinking of has the letters I and T in it. It sh shouldn't surprise you the dirty word I'm thinking of is uh, time. <laughs> what were you thinking, you dirty birds? But s seriously, think how often you've used that word. I don't have time to teach that. We don't have time to go over that because the classroom clock has so many time constraints. But it's actually counterintuitive. Don't let the time constraints hinder your art of teaching. Instead, allow the time constraints to improve your art of teaching by maximizing the effectiveness of what you do. So I challenge you to redesign your classroom clock. And we'll do that by looking at the 80-20 design principle, radio broadcast clocks, and a few of my classroom clocks. That'll be scary, but we'll get through it. So let's start with the 80-20 design principle. Think of it this way. 80% of the functions you do are just 20% of what you could do. Let me give you an example. Think of toolbars in a word processor. Toolbars are useful because 80% of what we want to do can be accomplished by just 20% of the tools available to us. So having those most important tools in one space helps maximize our productivity. So as teachers, we need to find the most effective 20% of classroom functions and make those available to students most of the time. It's not easy, right? It's not easy to redesign a classroom clock with the most critical functions that maximize learning. But I believe we can do it. And I believe we can learn some things from radio broadcast clocks. So let's talk about radio. Constructing a radio show is an art form, similar to teaching. Radio shows need to feature the most compelling stories and interviews in the little time they have with their audience. So they follow a broadcast clock. Let me show you an example of a broadcast clock from the show All Things Considered. Look at that mess. That thing freaks me out. But imagine the art of taking a 60-minute story and squeezing it into a 12-minute segment. But what's the purpose of this thing? Well, one purpose is to respect the interlocking gears of the national and local radio shows. Another purpose is to eliminate crappy radio by squeezing great content into short segments so shows start and stop on time. Look, great radio is better storytelling because of the time constraints that the radio broadcast clock has. Great radio follows 80-20 principle. I believe we can use these ideas to redesign a better classroom clock for great teaching. So on Monday, start fresh. Redesign your classroom clock to maximize learning. But I, <laughs> I hope your clock looks nothing like my first year of teaching. Here was a typical 45 minute class my first year. <laughs> I didn't follow the 80-20 design principle. I wasted time on classroom management, housekeeping. I reviewed homework for over a third of my class. I taught to the bell and didn't maximize learning. But over the years, I started to find effective classroom functions and started working them in. Here's a couple. I learned I learned to talk less so students could think more and talk more about math because discourse helps students learn math, not always algorithms. And speaking of algorithms, I learned to assign less rote problems, which gained us time to do more problem-solving tasks and activities. So over the years, I started learning to include more effective classroom functions in my clock, and it started to look a little bit more like this where I was getting closer to that 80-20 design principle. I was, or students were having more student discourse and opportunities for problem solving. And nowadays, when I work with a teacher, I'll model a lesson or we'll co-teach together, we design the classroom clock to look more like that. Where we're doing problem solving, instruction, discourse, and practice, and they blend together. It's not gonna happen overnight. 
But just don't go back to your old classroom clock on Monday. I challenge you one more time, redesign it. Let's keep the conversation going at hashtag classroom clock so that we can maximize learning and the effectiveness of what we do. Use the time constraints to improve your art of teaching. Thank you.